What is a bladder tank? What's inside a bladder tank? How does it work? What does it do? We're going to get in that today with you. Wendell Lee Well Services coming back at you, YouTube. Thanks again for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for, as always, giving us the thumbs up button and helping support our videos. We appreciate you watching. This is a video I've had in my mind for a long time here. And one of our customers actually went wild and wanted to try out his new plasma cutter when we changed the tank out and that prompted today's video. So what we got today is we're going to cut, we've got a tank that's already cut open. We're going to, number one, explain what a tank is, what it does. We're going to take the lid off, show you what's inside of it. Then what we're going to do is, is we're going to fill the tank up with water. We're going to show you what the tank does on the inside when it's full of water. Then we're also going to show you what happens when a tank fails and what's the culprit of it and why does it cause your pump to go bad quicker when you have a bad tank. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so welcome back to our laboratory here. So here's what we got for today. We got an old Wellwright FlexCon Industries tank. Uh, this is a old WR140. Let's see here. Yep, manufacture date is April 16th, 2000. So we just pulled this out the other day. It's uh, between 19 and 20 years old. Been in there a while. And what we're going to do is I've got a hose ran from this tank all the way outside to one of our frost-free hydrants. And I'm going to take the lid off, show you all what's inside, and I've got a hose here. I'm going to fill the tank up and show y'all what's going on with it. So here we go, let's get into it. Don't hold your breath, you two. Y'all ready to see what's inside of here? It's not a million dollars, I can promise you that. Doesn't that look pretty? So, what you're seeing here, don't mind all this nasty iron stuff. Here's the bladder down in here. This is normally what a tank looks like when it is no water in the system. All right, so the bladder is collapsed and there is air above the bladder that is filled in from this Schrader valve. Typically they come with about 38 PSI from the factory. And what that air is doing is when there's no water in the system, that air is pushing the bladder down. So this is how the tanks, when you buy any kind of bladder tank, this is how they come in the box. Now. The reason why all this iron and nasty stuff is in here is because the tank bladder's got a hole in it. And all when the bladder has a hole in it, water runs out of the bladder and it fills this whole cavity up from the from the bladder. So the bladder will be inflated when there's water in it. And then there's water coming out of the bladder that inflates this whole thing. Therefore, you don't have any air in your system. You've got water below your bladder and water above the bladder. That's all there is to these tanks. So there's a little lip here that they make that holds the bladder in place. The bladder's collapsed. You turn your pump on. There's air still pushing down on the bladder, but as your pump builds pressure, it inflates the bladder up. And that is what gives you drawdown on your tank. Is air up, is air up above the bladder. That keeps your pump from short cycling as much. This is what is doing the mechanical work of your tank. And when you get a hole in it, this bladder cannot work effectively. So that's pretty much it. Um, as far as this goes, let's cut some water on and get this thing hooked up and show y'all what happens when a tank goes bad. All right, here we go. So I'm going to cut this spigot on down here. It's going to take a little bit, so just be patient. I'm not going to cut this video short because the last time I cut it short for video editing purposes, I uh, got a couple comments about people wanting to see the whole video. So uh, it's going to be a little bit longer. If you don't like it, fast forward to the end. <laughs> I know how we are with patience these days. There's not a whole lot of it around, but it'll take a little bit. Oh. 
Obviously, this is a pretty big tank, 40-gallon tank. If I would have selected a smaller tank, it uh, wouldn't have taken as long. But this was kind of a unique circumstance. One of our customers had just bought a plasma cutter and wanted to try it out and just kind of went wild on it. And we didn't, we didn't object to that. Um, as you can see right now, as I will point out, I'm not going to spoil it, but you can see a little bit of water dribbling up right here. That's going to be where your hole is. But you'll see that when the bladder fully inflates and fills up with water. You'll be able to see that more clearly when we'll zoom into it with our camera. So let's see, I'm looking over here at my gauge. Uh, the pressure in the system is 60, well, about 55 or so. You can see obviously this hose hasn't, it hasn't got all the way up to 55 PSI yet because it's still inflating the bladder. Yep, looks like a big balloon now. So you can see this ring real good now where the holds the bladder. Um, and then the bladder's just expanding up from that ring now. So if you just envision there, with the lid being on here, this is why I don't really like cutaways because cutaways don't show this as, as much. But imagine their air being press, pressing down on this as there's the water is filling. That is what makes your tank work. There's your hole over there, right there. See that? Oh yeah. All right, I'm going to stop it right here for a second. Come over here, Brian. I'm going to fill it all the way up, but for video purposes, you got that pretty good. I'm sure you do. That's the culprit of a tank failure there. There's a hole in the bladder, and over time, water drips down in here on top of the seal of the bladder that, that is sealed to the tank, fills this whole cavity up. So just wanted to show that to you so you can have a better idea. This tank, hope I'm not in the way of the camera here. This tank only had one hole in the bladder, so it's pretty good for a 20-year-old tank. All right, I'm going to keep filling this up. Oh, yeah. We're going to have fun getting this out of here, aren't we? Oh, yeah, there's a better view of it there. Pressure's equalizing. It's getting close. You hear that? Obviously, as the system pressure increases, the amount of water leaking out of the bladder is going to increase as well. What are we at now? Yeah, we're about 50 PSI right now. You're going to have fun editing this, aren't you? All right, so look right here. Look right here, YouTube. See how this whole cavity is filling up with water from that hole? It's a bad tank all the way. But this is a good video. I know it's a bad tank. I know it's not a cutaway. But you can just envision this bladder here is your working mechanism of your tank. 
when this water is up above here, it doesn't allow your, bladder, your air above the bladder to work effectively because the water in itself bleeds it out. And as you can see, look how much the bladder has expanded. It's expanded all the way up to the top of the tank. And we'll probably keep expanding because there's not a lid on it to stop it. So I'm going to pretty much stop it about there. It will expand till it busts. Um, feel free to leave us some comments. Hope you get the message here. Hope you understand what's going on. I uh, thought this would be a good video for the audience to understand what's inside a tank and how it works and what goes bad in them. You know, not really a whole lot to it. And really, obviously, it's dependent upon the manufacturer of your tank. You know, don't go to Lowe's or Home Depot and buy one. You know, you're going to get about three to four years life out of a tank versus a higher brand tank like a Flexcon or a Wellex Troll you know, you're going to get 15 to 20 years out of them easy. And the reason why is their bladders are made better and the way they construct the bladder to the tank is made better as well. So feel free to leave your comments. Let us know if you like to see more videos about well tanks or any other ideas. We'll get them out there for you. Thanks for tuning in with us. Stay tuned for more videos in the future.